Hi, I'm Helia, and today I'm going to be ranking my Glossier products from worst to best and showing you how they look on my face. The first product on my list, so the one farthest down, is the Future Duo. I got a sample of this in my last order, but even though it's just a sample, I feel like I have gathered my feelings about it. It's just too greasy for me. I know it's like an oil serum hybrid that's supposed to keep that fresh skincare glow all day, but for me it's, it just looks straight up greasy. If I can find it, I'll put up a picture here of what it looked like when I put on like, I don't know, three drops in the summer. It looked very sunscreen greasy. I feel like you, you would like this product if you have very dry skin or normal skin. You just apply it all over your face and it just looks very glowy. But if you have oilier skin, you have to be very careful with where you place it. I'll show you how it looks just placed on the cheekbones. This is my skin after a few hours. I do really love that fresh skincare glow, but it does go away after, what, 20 minutes, half an hour? Yeah, but this product just doesn't give me that glow, it just makes me look greasy. I think it can work just placed on the cheekbones, so I just, I have a lot left because even when I just use a few drops, it just looks so greasy. So I don't know if you can really see the consistency, it's like a little pearly and a little bit pink. And it does have some essential oils, I'm pretty sure it has primrose oil. Oh my god, I have to put it on my hair. So last time I used it, I did break out a little bit afterwards, even though I didn't wear it for that long. And my skin did feel a little bit irritated. You can just see it looks a little greasy right here. It looks nice on the cheekbones, but it's just, you really have to be careful with it. So it does give that nice glow, but for me, it's just too much. So I'm just gonna wash it off afterwards, so I hopefully don't break out, but I just wanted to mention that if you have sensitive skin, this could make you break out because of the scent. It is very light and does smell nice, it's just, it's not necessary. It looks really nice <laughs> right now. I'll show you how it looks with another drop or two. I feel like it just looks a little bit too much. I really thought I would like it. I just thought it would add like a nice glow, maybe be a tiny bit blurring, even though I don't think it's in the product claims, but it just seems like seems like that type of product. It's the worst product for me. It's not terrible. I can see that it has a place and I think some people would really, really like it, especially if you have drier skin. The next step for me would be some kind of concealer to cover any redness if I wanted to do that that day. So I'll just be putting a tiny bit of Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Alabaster. It feels so slippy with that future dew underneath. It just it feels like this would melt off my face within an hour or two. As an alternative for future do, I feel like you could just use a little bit of squalane oil mixed in with your moisturizer. That will keep you glowy for a lot longer and it's cheaper. <laughs> I'm just gonna powder a little bit because I'm looking a little bit too glowy for my taste. I like it on the cheekbones. I just need a little bit. Oh my god, that looks so 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 dry. Just ignore that. It's just my skin. The next product is the Glossier Brow Flick in the shade Blonde. It's okay. I found that you really have to shake it every time before you use it or the color will separate. And I'm not sure if I took a picture of it, but I'll put it up here if I did, where it was just, it was completely orange. And I think, yeah, the shade is much better now. I also just think, it, this might just be me, but it's a little bit difficult to get a completely natural look. I think it might just be because it was so orange, but 
it gets very blocky and very thick quite easily so you just have to be careful careful <laughs> I just don't really find myself reaching up for it because it takes a lot more effort than a brow pencil and you can't blend it out I know it's supposed to create like hair like strokes but it just it gets a little patchy and a little spotty and you can't you can't brush it out you can't really do anything to fix it but I mean right now I like the effect it's just overall it's it's harder to work with than a brow pencil if you really want to create that hair stroke effect this is obviously better unless you have a tiny tiny micro brow pencil the next product is the Glossier Pro Tip Eyeliner it just it just gets a little bit patchy, a little bit dry sometimes and if you have the least bit oily lids I find that it transfers quite aggressively. I know I did a big wing but it was to test it. My eyelids weren't even that oily that day so I would be kind of scared to go out with this. But it can create a really nice fine tip, a really nice fine wing. It's just... You have to be careful that it's not too thick. I'm not the best at eyeliner, but I'm just winging it. So as you can see, it's fine. I feel like any typical drugstore eyeliner is, is around the same quality. It's nice and black. I don't feel like it's too, too black. It's a tiny, tiny bit see-through, which I really like. It's not super shiny, there's this tiny bit of shine to it, but it is quite matte and um, it's okay. It's, a, it's an average eyeliner. I know a lot of people really, really love this product, but it just wasn't it for me. It's the Boy Brow in the shade Blonde. The color is fine and it's fine, it just... Okay, I will say, it is one of the best brow, pomade brow, um, it's one of the best of these products, these kinds of products that I've tried. It's just, it's a little bit hard to use, I feel like it's a little bit too pigmented, sometimes the color is a little bit too warm. It's just, it's not great, but it's okay. <laughs> I just feel like Glossier can sometimes get so overhyped that people forget that it is just makeup and all of it isn't revolutionary. So you probably know, I really love the tiny brush though. I can't put this on without a mirror because I will just have smudges all over my face. It is pigmented. Yeah, I just feel like it's a little bit too blocky and I know some people say that you can wipe off the applicator before you use it but you will just waste so much product by doing that. It's just, I mean, I liked, I liked it better before. That's always kind of the trend. I like my brows better before I use this. It has a good amount of hold. You'll just have to be careful that it just doesn't block out your brows. I feel like if it had, if it was less pigmented, it would be easier to use. You have to be really careful with it. And as you can see, it's a little bit too warm. It does look a little bit orange. It's not that bad. A lot of brow gels, brow gels slash pomades are a lot worse. But it's expensive for what it is. So I feel like you could find a good dupe at the drugstore. Alright, now to some of the products that I actually enjoy using. The next products are the cloud paints. I have two shades. I have Dusk and Beam. I do like Dusk better because I've had some problems with beam separating even though I've tried to, to mix it around in there and it looked peachy when I put it on to my finger but then it just blended out into nothing and it was very confusing because I've, I had Dusk open for longer and I really liked it and I didn't have any kind of problems with that so Try to mix them or shake them before you use them once in a while because I had some problems with beam se separating. But I really like Dusk for being a bronzer on <laughs> very light skin. It can be a tiny bit orange but I feel like it's okay. 
and I know a lot of people freak out when they find out that it's really pigmented but I haven't found that it has been a problem to put on too much to not be able to blend it out or anything see it looks very orange <laughs> but I feel like it's pretty easy to blend out I might be a bit too pale to do this right now actually but I think it'll be okay I haven't had any problems with it and it's just it's so easy to just throw on I'll just let my skin calm down a little because anytime I touch it it turns red but I feel like I just look like naturally sun-kissed and this is also so easy to just put on a little bit more and then take it down your neck if your neck is looking really pale especially if you have very very light skin I feel like this is a multitasking product it's very nice you can also use it on your eyes I don't think they actually sell it as being eye safe but I haven't had any problems and I know a lot of people do it too so just be careful but it can work in a, as an eyeshadow I've also used these on my lips beam can look a little bit milky and patchy it didn't look that nice but I didn't really have any problems with dusk I feel like beam has a little bit more of a background color so this is how dusk looks on my skin I just feel like it looks so natural sun-kissed and it has a little bit of a glow to it Oh, and even though I have really oily skin, I really like the glow that this gives because it's so just healthy and well glowy instead of just greasy. A trick if you feel like you would just pour out everything every time you open it is to take a needle and just prick a little hole into this uh, foil instead of having it completely open. As you see, it's... Ooh, Okay, I did it the wrong way, but it's much easier to just get out a little bit of product instead of like a pea-sized amount. This is probably a little bit more than I would normally use, but it's okay. These are so easy to blend out even when you put on a little bit too much. So I'm probably gonna look very, very blushed after this. And I really like to put this a little bit under my eyes as well to give that like natural sun-kissed, sunburnt cutesy look. I forgot to say I really like dusk. If you feel like your concealer is looking too bright and too light under your eyes and you you have very light skin like me or just light to medium, you can take a tiny bit of this on your fingers and apply it under your eyes and it will just cancel it out and make it look you know, natural again. I don't I haven't heard anyone talk about that. It's great. You should try it if you have dusk. A problem that your eyes look Maybe even a little bit dry, I feel like this is a little moisturizing, you could put it on before you put on your concealer. It's a tiny bit orange so it will color correct some of your purpley blueness and I definitely feel like it's worth trying out at least one of the colors. They also have some beautiful colors for dark skin so there's something for everybody and it's great. The next product I'm getting excited now. It's the Glossier Lash Slick. Lash Slick. This is a film forming mascara instead of normal mascaras. I don't think I'll ever go back to a normal mascara instead of a tubing mascara for like everyday makeup because it's it's normal to put on. It's really easy. It doesn't clump. It really lengthens and separates. It looks a little bit more natural than a normal mascara and it's kind of waterproof. Like if you cry it doesn't like flake or smear. It just maybe like a tiny bit falls off and you can just take it away but it doesn't like flake or smear and <laughs> I've just accepted, especially with oily skin, that any mascara will flake or smear a little bit. But this doesn't. It's great. And it's so easy to get off. It's not like waterproof if you cry. It doesn't come off. But if you use warm water or like a micellar water, it just comes right off. It's so easy to take off. It's the perfect mascara. It's great. And it's also a great, like, priming mascara to put on if you really want dramatic lashes put this on to lengthen and separate and then take another like normal mascara volumizing on top and you will just have crazy lashes <laughs> you can also build this up if you just apply a little bit like I did today I actually have a little bit on it looks 
pretty much invisible. It's it's a little bit dried out now, so it's it's more natural than <laughs> in its prime time. This also lasts six months months ex in, in, instead of three, and I don't know who can finish a mascara in three months, but I definitely can't. It's great. So you can really build this up to get a quite a dramatic look. I haven't heard anyone talk about that, but you can really get an, a dramatic look with this. There's a little bit of clump. This also has fibers. And some fiber mascaras can fall into your eyes and really make them water and itch. I haven't found that this one does at all. So because this is dried out, I'm just gonna put it on two layers because it's it's not really fair. <laughs> I'm always a little bit scared to use very hot plastic wands like this one because I always poke my eye but it just takes a little bit of getting used to and it's very easy. So that's like how it looks when you just take a little bit of time to brush it through. It's not that natural if you don't want it to look natural. It does look a little bit more dry and spidery than it did in its prime time, but I feel like you can still see that it's just very nice lengthening, a little bit volumizing and just very separating and let me just, I don't know if you can, can you tell? It's, it's just, it's great. I'll definitely repurchase this and I haven't repurchased a mascara ever because they're all the same. This one is different. I feel like I just look so natural and sun-kissed. The only thing is the eye makeup, of course, but Glossy is its such a versatile brand. I feel like you can really create a real, like, no makeup makeup look, which just looks so glowy and natural. And you can really build it up to more of an evening look. It's great. Okay, so I know a lot of people like this product, but I haven't but I haven't heard any people call it their favorite from Glossier. And I just feel like it's a little bit underrated. I did feel a little bit weird about putting this at the top of the list, but I just, it really is my favorite product. I know it's not revolutionary, but okay. My favorite product from Glossier is the Glossier Bubble Wrap Eye Cream and Lip Cream. It's just, I didn't have that high expectations for it, but it's a great eye cream. It doesn't have, it's just so simple. There's actually a lot in here. This lasts the full six month, months of its shelf life. For me, when I use one pump every day, it's, it's just a great eye cream, which doesn't clog my pores underneath my eyes and give me, I think it's called Milla. It doesn't sting my eyes. It really moisturizes my lashes. I put it in my lashes and my brows, even though I know you're not really supposed to get that close to your eyes, but it just leaves, leaves your skin looking so, plump and hydrated, youthful, and it feels great, it doesn't feel heavy, but it's really really moisturizing and it isn't too much for me with oily skin. If I have any dry patches or anything, I can also use a little bit on them. It just feels so nice and cooling and soothing and I just feel like it's a little underrated. It also has some antioxidant ingredients. It's not like the main thing in here, but it's a nice little bonus. It's not just a gimmick that it's an eye and lip cream. I thought lip cream, what the hell is that? It's so great. If I have super duper chapped lips, you know that almost bleeding, it just hurts, it burns. Not every lip balm can repair that. It just kind of creates a layer, creates a barrier. Then it takes a few days for your lips to actually heal, you know? With this, I put on like a full pump I let it sit on my lips for maybe a half an hour. It really sinks in, and my lips—they, I don't know how to how I don't know how it works, but they feel completely healthy, cured, great, plump. They don't hurt. They don't stink. They're not red, or they just look plump. It's just normal again, even if they're a little bit dry and chapped from the wind. If it's really cold, it just fixes it. And I don't know how it does it, because normally lip balms just don't do that for me. They help, but they don't, like, fix the problem completely. I think it's crazy. And normally if I put moisturizer, just normal face moisturizer, on my lips when they're that dry, it just burns. It really, really burns. 
this just feels so cooling and soothing and <laughs> so great. It's so great. <laughs> and I don't think it's expensive for what it is because there's so much in here, it lasts for so long, it's so multi-purpose. If you do have an eye cream that you love, I don't think this will replace it for you, but I definitely think it's worth a try. Before I end the video, I'll just show you how dusk looks when you put a little bit on your lips. So it's just a little bit orangey, but it gives a little color and it's not milky or patchy or, I don't know, drying in any way. It just looks so natural and nice. That was my all my Glossier products. I would really like to try the Stretch Concealer, the Vanillic Lips, these ones. I'm also interested in their eyeliners and a few things. Also their Milky Jelly Cleanser, because I feel like it would be kind of similar to the Fresh Soy Cleanser, which I didn't like when I first tried it, it did break me out a little bit, but then when I tried it and it was a little bit cold in the weather, it was really nice. So I'm really interested in the in the cleanser from Glossier and just a lot of their stuff basically. So I'm not a Glossier rep but I'm pretty sure I have a link where you can get 10 or 15 percent off. Maybe it's your first purchase, maybe it's just everything, anything you purchase from Glossier but it's this one and I'll also leave it in the description box and if you use it I'll also get some store credit which I can use to buy any products that you guys wanna anything you are interested in if you want me to try anything from Glossier because I think I'll place an order later this year and I might might update this video when I when I have a have an opinion on all the products um, <laughs> leave a product recommendation or suggestion in the comments and that's the video. I know I know I don't normally make makeup videos but I don't really want to do anything to my hair right now and you guys said that you would watch whatever I upload so I know I'm not as crazy when I just sit down but I think it's it's just it's nice to not be hyper all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> And I hope that you could use my reviews of these products. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. I hope it was helpful. And I think it was really nice to just sit down. Stay safe, friends. Don't look too much at that. <laughs>